I'm going to forgive the schmo for, for um, choking me out if you let me take your wife on one date. This is a schmo with the pro, with the man who needs no introduction. He's been a champion of multiple mixed martial arts organizations. He's the movie star. He's Quentin Rampage Jackson in the flesh here at Radio Row. Good to see you again. How we doing? I'm doing okay. Last time I saw you, you choked me out, man. I'm, I'm. Oh, God damn. Go ahead. Oh, fuck. I, I, I underestimated you. How the fuck are you so strong, but but you you tiny? What the fuck? You know I'm. You know what I'm saying I. I don't know how I feel about you right now. I'm just gonna leave you right there. I thought we was cool. I thought you was just gonna, like, uh, show show like a little ju jujitsu skill, and then but you actually like, you was really trying to tap me out. So I don't know how I feel about you right now. Lucky you got a hot wife, and I do like them Asian girls, and so I'm trying to use you to get closer to her. That's true. The Shmo thought you were going to hunt myself down, but you went over there to Asia. Good timing, of course. But listen, you said go ahead to the Shmo, so we went ahead. We're still sorry. We're very sorry. All right. You inspired the Shmo to get choked out by two fighters, Roman Delize and then Ilya Teporia. We think we're going to put that on hold for now, though. We're still feeling that in the neck. That's what you get. We deserved it. You, you deserved this shit. So what brings you here to Radio Row? Bio Accelerator, they do good stuff with stem cells. Yeah. Columbia, the schmo's yeah. got to make his way over there after what the neck feels like today. Man, I'm telling you, bro, you, 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 you'll love it because they changed my life. They added like 10, 15 more years to my fighting career. And, you know, now I'm trying to get into do some boxing. So uh, Bio Accelerator, they changed my life. They could do the same for you. But I have to say this. Since I'm here in the Super Bowl, they brought me here because they, they, they're having a special giveaway. They're giving away a, a free stem cell. Somebody they want you to go to uh, bioaccelerator.com, and they got a Super Bowl giveaway. If people sign up, maybe you should enter too. Maybe you win, somebody may win the free, um, the free um, stem cell. They want to ask you a few questions, and you tell them about why you need the stem cells. You're good to go. And they're going to pick, I don't know, one or two, uh, uh, three. I don't know how many lucky winners, but they're going to pick somebody. Somebody's going to be a lucky man indeed, but you got a big fight coming up now. I You're do. finally boxing Shannon the Cannon Briggs. This has been years in the making. What took so long? I think um, I, I think what took so long, like, I don't know. I think people um, wasn't really feeling a, a, a boxing match with Shannon because he's ugly. I don't think a lot of people want to see his ugly ass get it. People he, tired of him saying, let's go champ. They was annoyed that then. After a while, he kept saying he wasn't going nowhere. And then people was like saying, all right, we want to see Rampage shut him up. So he wouldn't go nowhere. And so they want to say, maybe if I knock him out, maybe he'll shut the hell up. And then, you know, people won't have to hear him no more. So I think that's what it is. So the, the good people over there in Qatar uh, is putting it up, putting us up. This is their first event. You could tell people tired of hearing him talk because they ain't, this ain't even a promotion that's doing it. It's some people that really want to hear Sh Shannon shut up. And they said, fuck it, we're going to put on a fight here in Qatar. And then they told me, knock his ass out and shut him the fuck up. Do you think the only way to shut him up is to knock him out, not just get your hand raised by any means necessary? Yeah, that's the only way. I think I got to embarrass him. I got to, like, shut him up, man, because he's making memes, putting my, my, my Photoshop, my face on girls' bodies and doing He's just doing a little bit too much. He's like, he's doing a little bit too much. He's crossing the line. Is this the last hurrah for you? This no. boxing stem? Uh, no, no, I'm saying in mixed martial arts, are you just going to be a boxer moving forward? No, no, no. After, after this fight, I'm going to fight titties from the tough, from reality show. And the UFL, that new promotion that I'm, that I'm with, the same people that um, brought you F3. And, uh, you can have that. I brought this for you. I know you like that. That's my favorite. That. It, 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 I'm going to do, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, do a, a MMA fight. Then I'm gonna come back. I want to fight Rashad Evans, and and and, and rubber match with um, Vanley boxing. I like boxing. I always wanted to box. So, but I gotta get titties out the way though. So we got three fights left total. Who knows? But with the stem cells, man, with the boxing, I think I, I think if I if I it depends on how good I do. If I can if I do well in boxing, I keep it going. I just fight older people. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just like entertaining the, the the fans. So I'm not gonna put a, a number on there yet until I see how I do. If I if I if I beat Shannon and I beat Rashad Evans and I beat Van Lee at boxing. Then I'm then I think I'll probably be one of the best boxers in the world. Then I'm start coming out the you real boxers belts. 
You want boxing belts? I want a, I want, I want a, I want a boxing belt. I thought I kick all these guys. Then I know, yeah, I'm a real boxer. I got the best boxing coach in the world, Bobby, Bobby Rimmer, out in the UK. I got the best boxing coach in the world. With, with him on my side, I can knock out anybody. Yeah. I, I, so, I, but I gotta get past these guys. Then I'm becoming for everybody's belt. And the schmo knows you got that inspiration from Francis Ngannou too. You see what he did in the mixed martial arts world. Does he get his hand raised against Anthony Joshua? Yep. 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 Um, I think that uh, Anthony Joshua is going to be a little bit tougher than Tyson Fury because now they now he know what he's up against. But uh, did you did you see when Tyson got dirty and tried to elbow Francis right and didn't even phase him? Anthony Joshua, he can't, he can't, he got nothing for Francis Ngannou. He got nothing for him. He's got nothing for him. Not, he ain't got nothing for him, though. He don't got nothing for him. Who do you speculate is going to be in the main event for UFC 300? We're still waiting for that. What, but they, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't make the main event yet? We don't have a main event. UFC 300, you know how big this is. This has got to be the biggest fight card to date in the entire promotion. And why, why, why they don't, why they don't bring Conor back to have him be on a, uh, on, uh, is he, why they don't we don't know. He just might not be ready. You know, he really snapped that leg. You know, that, you I don't, that was a long time ago. Wasn't it? It was a couple of years ago. See, this is what they this, well, they, they should. They should, how long away is that three hundred card? April thirteenth. Oh, that's coming up. It's coming up. Yeah, that's that's weird. They don't have a main event. You know, I, who I would like to see in the main event is I would like to see Izzy versus uh 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 sh sh what's the name that got it. The guy that, that beat him. Um, Sean Strickland. Strickland? Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland. For no belt. Yeah. I want, I want to see that rematch. Because I think, I think Izzy took him lightly and, and, you know what I'm saying? I would like to see that rematch. Why do you think it took him lightly? I, I, just, I just think that he didn't, rate, he didn't rate Sean Strickland. I just, that's what I feel. Because fighters, I know, I don't fight. We get like that sometimes. You know, so you just don't take people seriously. Like, like I didn't take Forrest serious. I, I still think I beat him. I, when I watched the fight, I still think I did it. Did enough to keep my belt, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't rate him. I didn't take him serious. I, I thought I was going to knock him out in the first round. So sometimes you just, you, you when you when you, don't take the other fighter serious. You don't really prepare for them like, like a hundred percent. And like when you you, it's like a, 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 a it's kind of like a, a, a bad ego thing. It's like the worst mistake a fighter can do. You you overlook like man, this guy sucks. So you don't take him serious. So you don't you don't train your hardest for him. So I feel like that's what he did with Strickland. Well, two guys who are taking their fight seriously. They're always exciting. That's going to be at UFC 300. We got the BMF title on the line between Justin Gaethje and Max Holloway. Max Holloway returning to the 155-pound weight division. What are your expectations for that one? Man, I, I, I like both those guys, but you know what I'm saying? Max Holloway is a beast. I love his boxing, bro. I, I, I like both those guys. This is, this is how I do it, man. When I, when I watch, I just want to see a, a exciting fight. Like, my, my heart goes out to all fighters that have the nerves set into the cage, but I just want to see the same fight, but, you know, my boy Max Holloway, man, he's sick. Man, he's sick with those boxing moves and the head moves, man. He's sick with it, though, man. He's sick with it. You think he's got enough to be the BMF champion? Hey, 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 I, I'm saying that he's sick with it. Respect to both fighters, you know what I'm saying? But I, if I'm going to be cheering for somebody, I'm going to be cheering for Max Holloway because I, I met him. I don't think I ever met Gay Cheese, but, but Max Holloway, he, he's really cool. I like him. Well, someone you share the match with, Brian Ortega. He's headlining. He's returning Mexico City against Yair Rodriguez. We know what happened the last time they went out. Unfortunate injury for Brian Ortega. But what have you seen from him inside the gym? What's keeping him motivated? He had a devastating shoulder injury. He's had shoulder injuries in the past. But what do you think it's going to take for him to get back on top and eventually have that featherweight gold strap? I didn't know he was having that many problems. I heard a little bit about it. But he, he needed to check out BioCelerator, get, get them stem cells. And and you know rehab it all get back up, but man he's 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 man he's like one of the best on the ground, so he always got a chance to submit to submit. But it's unfortunate. Like, part of the game is we get hurt sometimes, and you and you know what I'm saying you can't really control that out there out there sometimes. You never know when it's going to happen. So all the best to him. You know you know I got mad love for him, man. He the man. Well, you're the man too. Oh, right, right, well, thank you. Are you trying to be nice because you you know I was mad at you for. Uh, for um, choking me out. So yeah, we don't want to sign this thing off with you choking the schmo off, so we're just trying to find an easy way out to get out of this one. Uh, okay, listen, listen. I'm going to, I'm going to forgive the schmo for, for um, choking me out if you let me take your wife on one date. No. What? What's wrong with that? Where are you going to take her? The Golden Corral? We know you like her buffets. <laughs>
<laughs> that's fucked up. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take her to a nice dinner and you know, you can you can. I'll tell you what. I'll you, tell you what. You I'll be, tell you, you what. You can be there to camera. All right, the schmo will say yes under one condition. What? You eat chicken feet. No, fuck off. Ah, oh, see, we got him. He's the pro. I'm the schmo walking off. All comes down to those chicken feet. We're out. Bye.